Welcome to Houston Life. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Courtney Savala. We do have a very fun show planned for you today, all about fitness. <laughs> we are rowing our little hearts out. We've gotten rid of our host chat table because for this hour, we're going to work out. Who needs a table? No. Host chat table. These, uh, these rowing machines, they are filled with water, so we're not trying to do our laundry up here, but our friends over at Busy Body, they let us borrow these. You know, I had asked for the Thigh Master because I thought that would make for a really exciting show, uh, but Courtney vetoed that idea, right? No, I love me a good Thigh Master. Busy. These are awesome. So the water is for resistance here on our row. How you feeling? You know, I feel good. You, you can usually catch me rowing at the gym. I'm a very boring person. It's a very sedentary lifestyle. I, no, I, I love lead. rowing. I do a lot of rowing CrossFit. You know what? It's great for the back. And even though this is just one motion, um, it's actually working a ton of different muscles. So you at home, today prepared to jump up off the couch or maybe just stay on your couch and watch us do this exciting show. So when you row, you can burn up to 1,000 calories an hour on a row machine. This is Not tough. bad. Well, listen, while you're working out, you want to make your clothing work for you, right? Yeah. You know, sometimes people have these gym woes, like their leggings, they fall down. Um, maybe their clothes start to stink. Well, today we've got some fitness fashion solutions to help with some very common problems. Folks, you are not alone from clothing that helps reduce body odor to those leggings that won't fall down. Very simple solutions. Plus, if you are a new mom, you know how hard it can be to jump back onto that workout wagon. We're gonna have a postnatal exercise to help you moms get back on track with the fitness routine. Okay, so <laughs> speaking of some uh, oh, different types of workouts, <laughs> is oh, this really happening? You're fantastic. Okay, listen, I'm gonna stop rowing for a minute because I wanna talk about some, some different types of workouts. This is awesome. I know, you, where you are you when home, I'm working please, out Kat? normally? Um, so I guess in Australia, they do a workout that's called Zoo. This is interval training, and it's based on animal movements. So you and I, we did that goat yoga one time. This is not involving animals, but I guess that guy is doing, what is that? What? What, what is that? Oh. That's like down dog? Well, let's see. Squatting, Frog? scrambling, and slithering around Frog? like a wild animal. Think bear crawl, gorilla, and frog squats. Okay. I you know what? That looks like a really good workout, actually. Bear crawls are a lot harder than you think they are. And I will tell you, you're probably going to get your heart rate up a little bit more than the goat yoga. The goat yoga, all I did was laugh and cry. Oh, my gosh. Do you remember when that goat tried to bite your necklace off? Oh, my gosh. I and thought my I was going to lose my mind. We did lose our mind. You're just forgetting that. Well, and they, <laughs> they kept dropping deuces all over the set, all too. All over. Remember in the mall? They were running around it was, crazy. We came back from commercial break, and it was literally like, cue the goats, number one, number two, oh my all gosh. over our set. It was a disaster. Okay, moving on to um, some Polynesian dances. This is a really interesting exercise. It's called Hot Hula. It's, I guess, exactly as it sounds. Uh, it's like hot yoga, but you're hula dancing? You know, like hula is all about the hips. And, yeah, but it's know. like hot yoga. It's like hot? Uh, baby doll, I don't know. I haven't done it. But based on what I'm reading here on my cards, well, you're it says, telling me about it's it. based on the traditional <laughs> Polynesian island dances, and it can strengthen the glutes, the quads, yeah. the abs. So like belly dancing, kind of. Like when that became, you know, that got kind of popular for a minute. Hot minute. It did? Belly dancing? Yeah. Did you take a belly dancing class? Well, you know, I'm Greek, so we do a lot of belly dancing. Okay, well, okay. Maybe sometime <laughs> you can do a segment about it on the show. Um, how about dog yoga, also known as doga? So they say that this is a new trend for dog owners. You can t get in touch with your body through breathing. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, th none of this is going to get my heart rate up. I don't know. And then one last one we got to talk about backwards running they say that if you you know a lot of times runners have issues with their joints like they have knee problems but they say that if you run backwards it's actually easier for you on your joints why not to stop running listen i took a crossfit class once where i was running backwards on a treadmill and i almost fell off okay I, that's the problem first of all that coach should be fine why are you running backwards on a treadmill i don't know it was dangerous i didn't fall off but i did puke i can imagine now see backwards lunging and things like that i think obviously has their benefits, has their benefits to doing that because it's changing the way that you normally do something. But like backwards, is this like on a track? What if there's a car coming? Or like, what if there's a curb? Why so judgmental and like paranoid? What if there's a car Just coming? Just the mood I'm in today. Oh, you, 
<laughs> you mean like <laughs> jogging backwards through the neighborhood? <laughs> Backwards running, where I mean, like no, in a controlled, like on a treadmill, Courtney. I don't think people are running backwards. <laughs> no, I don't think that's. I don't no? think that's the case. Very dangerous. Well, I think a treadmill's worse. Okay. I. All right. <laughs> so listen, there are a lot of unusual <laughs> <laughs> workouts out there. If you see some lady running through the neighborhood backwards, backwards help her. It's help Courtney. Her. It's, it's not me, it's you. <laughs> You're like, I misunderstood the assignment. <laughs>